We've been in San Antonio for 12 days and we have yet to see the Alamo, but today, today is the day we're gonna see the Alamo and we're gonna go downtown during the daytime. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Lori is finally getting her way and we're gonna stop by Habe's Bakery. Here we are at Habe's. Great, let me show you this building. Another one of those Hansel and Gretel looking places. Remember the other day we were in Castroville and we couldn't go to the bakery because it was closed? She got her way. <laughs> We've been told by several people that we had to go to this bakery if we were in this area, so here we are. Hi there. Lorena is pretty much ordering one of everything, so we're gonna be so hopped up on sugar, we're not gonna be able to sleep for the next three or four days. And we're getting bread too. These are our coconut macaroons, and these are our Turkish macaroons. They're also very popular. What is that and you're eating? Two of the cookies, two and two. Okay. The cowboy cookies. Sure. Very good. Oh yeah, not pretty good. We just came out of the bakery and we've been told it's pronounced Habies Bakery. So it's not Hobbies. I think I called it Hobbies. So it's Habies Bakery. Some Alsatian stuff. And stuff we, for the next two weeks, I think. I'm gonna be running around all sugared up like a little kid. Off to San Antonio. What kind of plane is this? We were in this place the other day, but or the other night, but it has a lot different feel in the daytime. So the Hyatt Hotel on the Riverwalk is right across from the Alamo. So if you're on the Riverwalk, you come into the, the Shops de Paseo or something like that where the Hyatt is, then straight across the street to the Alamo. And here we are at the Alamo, arguably one of the most uh, important historic buildings in the United States. Without it, would the United States look the way it does? Would we have New Mexico? Would we have Arizona? Would we have California? That Even is Texas. the question. Even yeah. Texas, yeah. yeah. So although the battle here was lost, we understand that it allowed Houston and those guys to regroup and I believe that battle took place at San Jacinto. Jacinto. San Jacinto, okay. <laughs> and so that's, uh, that's why this has significant importance. It's not so much that the, we won or lost the battle, it's what it allowed the other troops to do. So very cool stuff and we're gonna go check it out and uh, see what's going on inside. These walls right here were part of the entire fort. The Alamo, obviously here. There were walls right along this way that attached to the side of the Alamo church. And then the other wall ran here all the way down, about 12 feet tall, all the way down past these buildings here. And then across where the current courthouse and post office is on that side, 
that there is Long Barrack, where a lot of the men died in the final battle, so pretty crazy stuff. All right, Lori, so after all that history we just learned, mm -hmm. I will always remember the Alamo. Such a tourist. <laughs> As we walk around the river walk and as we take a lot of the boat tours, I'm gonna kind of swap in and out some of the daytime and nighttime shots that we took from the other night. I think that'll be kind of cool rather than trying to do a separate nighttime video and daytime video. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out a way to integrate those so that we're in those same areas when I do the nighttime and or daytime swaps. Hi there. Have a good day. Thank you. These old mirrors, the circus mirrors, remember these things? I don't know what that one does to me. Oh, there we go. This one makes me much taller. Yeah, buddy. Give me those long, skinny legs. Yeah. That one gave me big, long legs. Oh, I need that one then. <laughs> Buckhorn Saloon says it was established in 1881. Pretty cool. Oh wow, look at that arch. I gotta show you guys this arch over here. Lori and I had to stop in at the Buckhorn Saloon. The gentleman behind the bar just told it, it is the longest operating saloon here in San Antonio, or is that Texas. just, that's Texas. That is in Texas, so had to stop in here. And if you happen to have a rattlesnake tail with you or a set of deer horns, antlers, he'll give you a free drink, so that's kind of cool. We didn't happen to have any with us this trip, so <laughs> Lori's gonna have to rattle, find a rattlesnake maybe for next time. Next time, I'll do it. Lorraine and I just had dinner at the Iron, what did what was it called? The Iron what? Cactus. It's called the Iron Cactus with our newest friend Bill here from San Antonio. So 
It was absolutely delicious if you're gonna do salsas and things like that, and they also had a bunch of tequilas. Damn you people are noisy. <laughs> they had a bunch of tequila and stuff. I, of course, did not partake, Lori did. And uh, I think she had tequila in her coffee, actually. So that was pretty interesting. So this is it for San Antonio. We have done it all. And most of it thanks to Bill who gave us a lot of uh, direction on where to go and what to see and all that kind of stuff. So Inside information. Insider information. So uh, if you're coming to San Antonio, this guy. You've probably seen more in the short time you've been here since I have in the 20 years <laughs> I've been here. <laughs> we tried to get as much in as possible. So thank you very much, sir. My pleasure. pleasure. You. Thank you so much. It's awesome seeing y'all. <laughs> y'all be careful. San Antonio, you have been so good to us, and this is our final day here in San Antonio, and we figured what better way to close out this entire trip and to close out this day than in front of these things. The world's largest boots. These are the world's largest pair of cowboy boots. Check these out. They're supposed to be a world record 35 feet tall, and they certainly look that to me. I don't think they fit anybody. I don't think so. San Antonio has been so good to us. The people here have been awesome. The sights and sounds of San Antonio have been awesome. And we've just had a great time here. If you ever get a chance to visit this area, we really do recommend it. It's been so much fun. And we, again, met great people here. So It has everything you want. It has the hills, the cowboys, the river, the lakes, the water sports. Then you go into the city, the culture, the food, the, I mean, all the missions and everything. I mean, you have all the little towns that are all, all uh, European towns, like French and German and with wineries. It's so cool, everything yeah. here. And we still have a little bit yet to explore. We'll be heading up towards the Austin area after this. So if this is your first time here, make sure you click that subscribe button, stay up to date on everything that we're doing. And it'd be awesome if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye, guys. Bye. That's a big-ass pair of boots there. <laughs> <laughs>